Hey YouTube, um, I just got my uh, refurbished projector, uh, BenQ 1080 ST uh, from FedEx today, and so I thought I'd just uh, do a little an opening here real quick for you and show you what comes in the packaging. So I should mention that I bought this from ProjectorSuperCenter.com, uh, again as a refurbished item, and I bought this for $7.99. Uh, it retails new on Amazon.com anywhere between $8.50 or so all the way up to about $9.50 on Amazon. I would suggest never pay more than $900 for this projector being that they go on sale so frequently that you're kind of jipping yourself out of some cash if you pay more than $900. So I would wait for a sale because it will come down. And if you're looking to buy refurbished, they tend to be either just from a store return uh, or somebody, you know, maybe bought one and they're a little intimidated by the use of a projector. So they're generally just always in uh, good condition. Uh, stuff that comes with it is just your VGA cable and then the power cable right here. And then here's this. This is uh, the remote. This is actually, I'll maybe uh, take off this wrapping here for you so you can see what this is. Alright, so here's the remote that uh, comes with the projector. Now, this is the older style remote. This is not the new one that you would get, say, if you bought it new. Uh, this is, the main difference between this and the, the newer remote, this generally comes with the older firmware models of the projector. If you bought a projector with the newer firmware, uh, you would get the newer remote. And the newer remote, the biggest difference between this and that is, one, the newer remote is bigger, it's a little larger, but it's also backlit, which is nice. This is not backlit, so I might contact BenQ or Projector Supercenter and just get the newer remote because it is nicer to have that backlit uh, if you're watching movies in the dark. The other nice thing of the new remote is it has the actual input sources on the remote themselves. So rather than having to go into the menu of the projector and choose your input source, they're just laid on there right there, you know, uh, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, VGA, so on and so forth. So one thing to keep in mind, if you do buy refurbished, if you get the older style remote, you can uh, grab that newer one. Here's a carrying strap. One thing I'll mention is that with the 1080ST, you do get this carrying case, which is, is pretty slick. It does not come with a 1070. You can order it off BenQ's website, I believe, if you want. I'm not sure why it does not come with the 1070. I have no idea why. Um, they're basically the same projector. The, the main difference is the optical zoom lens. So if you're in a tight space, you're in a small room, this is the projector that you're going to want to get. So it comes nicely sealed and nicely packaged. Uh, I'll also mention that I actually received one of these yesterday from Projector Supercenter and both of the HDMI inputs would not receive a signal so I contacted them and they did an overnight shipping delivery of a new one for me so I really I highly recommend them great customer service they're really fast speedy with emails and they're just really really nice to work with I know um, on some places you have to return the projector before you get a new one I did ship it out yesterday back to them, and once they had a confirmation that it was dropped off, they went ahead and shipped it out to me. So it's shrink-wrapped. It's got the plastic on it a little bit. The one that I had yesterday did not. And so here it is. As you can see, it's in, from what I can tell, mint condition. Um... Yeah, from what I can tell, this is in mint condition. No issues with this at all. Um, this actually, this here is supposed to be connected to this somehow, this string here. I'm not sure if I can rig up something, but anyways, I don't care if this comes off anyway. Not a big deal. Uh, here's your remote sensor right here. There's a lens. Here's just the uh, zoom and, and focus right there. 
and then I'll move this over here for you. Getting the light a little bit better. And here's just the standard buttons on the front if you ever need to use those if you're not going to use them out, but more often than not you're probably never going to touch this. And here's the inputs on the back that you're going to get. Uh, this does have two HDMI inputs. You have a 12 volt trigger. If any of you are you going to be using like a electric screen, you have component inputs, a mini HDMI, uh, excuse me, mini USB. You have PCA uh, VGA cable, S video. Then you have your composite audio and video, and then uh, speakers. If you want to put out a speaker. Uh, input and output. Um, so all in all, it's, it's a pretty sharp looking projector. It's got the two-tone look, uh, the silver and white. On the back, there's for the locking mechanism if you want to have it, you know, for security purposes. And on the back, it'll, you know, tell you when it was um, made, things like that. Um, this here was made in May of 2013, so I'm hoping it has sort of the newer firmware, but what you can do is if you get a projector and it's within the warranty period, you can send this into BenQ and get an updated firmware if you want. I know there's the common comparison between this and the Optima HD 131XE or the XW, and one thing that I will mention is there's the comparison of, you know, this tends to have the better color accuracy, and some people suggest that the Optima has better black levels and shadow detail but back to the inputs if, if you're somebody if you have a receiver that does not upconvert analog to HDMI you may want to go something like this because the Optima does not have all of these inputs available so say you're running a Wii or say you're running an older gaming system or a DVD player and you don't have HDMI, you're going to need to get something that has this available. Um, luckily, my receiver, I have a Denon uh, 2112, and it upconverts analog to HDMI. So I can just input uh, you know, my analog sources, say if I'm using component or composite, I can use either of those and connect it to my receiver, and I can just have an HDMI going right from my receiver to this, and it's going to get all those sources upconverted just to this HDMI. But if you don't have a receiver like that, um, you may want to look at this. Just a heads up for that as well. Um, but that is all that I have. Um, if you have any questions, comments, just let me know. But this is the BenQ 1080ST short throw projector. Thanks.